All right, let's bring Kasumi with us this time. Because Miranda had almost nothing to say. Also, greetings and salutations. And welcome back to Mass Effect 2, where we're on the hunt for the Shadow Broker. Hagalaz, the oceans boil during the day, then snap freeze ten minutes after sundown. The Shadow Broker that sounds like a terrible planet to live on. Completely kind of like um in the movie uh, Interstellar. Uh, inside? Where the planet is basically just giant... Just giant waves flooding over itself over and over again. There's a constant lightning storm where the hot and cold air collide. See, this is what happens when you don't worry about climate change, folks. Also, this looks pretty awesome. Gotta say. It, uh, it reminds me actually a little bit of, um... Star Trek The Game of All Things. Uh, which came... A couple years after the release of this game. So you could say that Star Trek was trying to imitate uh, in the same fashion. And did so in a much less stellar way. Uh, in which you are crossing over the outside of a space station towards um, the nearby sun. Why are they attacking? Hmm. Hold on. Let's switch to the shotgun. That way I don't waste all of my locust ammo. I definitely like the look of the distant clouds. Like, that is amazing. Like, even, even just, like, a friend of mine was posting on a, a previous video, and he mentioned, like, has it, like, he looks at the game, he's like, he could barely believe this game came out in 2011. And you just look at those distant clouds, and it's like, wow, amazing. Thanks for the tip. Those shadow broker agents uh, never stood a chance. But yeah, it would be easy just to put, like, a map painting in the background. But, like, if I had to imagine, that might be several different... ...map paintings, or several different, um, sprites scrolling over itself in order to create that effect. But it definitely works very well in regards to making the planet feel alien. Um, especially in comparison to, uh, say, the ending of Mass Effect 1. Where, uh, you're also climbing on the outside of a ship, more or less, the ship being the Citadel. But that, again, that takes place in more of an interior. But you still have that distant... Ah, hello. Never mind, I was going to hit it, but they did instead. Oh, hello. Oh, 
Uh, but it's also, it, instead of having this giant sun that we're charging towards, it had the, um... Harbinger? No, not it. Harbinger is the villain of this game. Sovereign. Yeah, it had Sovereign in the distance. Always kind of there. Ah. Huh. At the very least, we're not flying off the ship, which I would imagine be would be the one of the greatest dangers is any of those gusts of wind just kind of picking you up and flinging you through the air. No, looking down is, um... Okay, looking down would only be a mistake if there was the ability to jump. Loki, Mac, don't do it. I've got the high ground. Like, looking down would only be a mistake if I had to worry about navigating platforms. Uh, the fact that there's no actual platforming in this game means that I don't have to worry about how far the ground is below, it, below me. Oh, that's so. comforting. At least we'd all be dead. Hold on. Motion dampeners. I bet you can't even hear the storm from inside the ship. It's too bad they don't have any emotion dampeners installed. Then you couldn't even feel the storm inside the ship. Oof. I'll be here all night, folks. Hello, folks. Are you out here? Fighting the good fight. Like, these guys must be paid really well. Although I wonder, like, how often do they actually get to leave their ship? Because I would imagine being a guard on the Shadow Broker's ship... Like, that that's probably... a really boring life. Excuse me, folks. Please, uh, stay still for just, um, more than a few seconds so that I could shoot you. Nope. I don't know what... Oh, that must have been, like, a flashbang or something that I didn't notice. I lightning bolted myself. But yeah, like, I would imagine, um... The people who live here on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, these guys are just sitting around prepared for people to show up. And let's say they live in shifts, but like, how do you find entertainment? Do they do Let's Plays for each other? Do they have enough agents on hand? Uh, an on break at any given time for for a Fortnite match every once in a while. Firing. Also, the angle of this is a little bit disconcerting. System not designed for specialized ammunition. You know, you don't really notice the subtleties of fighting specific types of opponents. Um, until they are really kind of mixed in together and that doesn't happen that often in the game you usually don't fight the people at the same time as mechs at the same time as Krogans Going dark. 
Um. She says, "Watch for biotics immediately as a biotic is attacked, is uh is used to attack me." Okay, that basically uses up all of my pistol ammo, or should I say, thermal clips? For some reason, I kept forgetting the name of the ammo type that you use in this game. is not actual bullets or anything, but thermal clips. Um. Oh, okay. This just opens up a path. For a second, I thought this would maybe open up a path into the ship. This is a long area. You know, this lightning uh, rod capacitor refills itself really quickly. Although there are not too many human vanguards, um, which... I've noted that frequently a lot of the times the vanguard tends to be Asari in general, although Asari... Like, Asari are the most biotic race in the game. But due to human experimentation with biotics, there would still be some... There would still be, um... Like, humans with L2s or L3s running around. Um, L2s probably especially, considering they were the early experimentations. Um, and some of them have been mentally twisted by the presence of the L2 biotics in their heads. Or the L2 implants, uh, sorry. Um. Not even a guardrail. I bet the broker's agents love patrolling the hull. At least the view is nice from... So you can see something nice when you die. Excellent. We finally get to go inside. Oh, does this mean we have to stand here and defend this spot? How long will it take? I don't know, Shepard. I've never broken into the Shadow Broker's base before. Well, not this one, anyway. Yep. Going dark. You sure that shunt is working? It's illegal, even on Illidan. It didn't come with a warranty. But you tested it, right? Here come more of them. Tell me. Oh, uh, damn it. No time to. Oh, there goes, uh... There goes the R. Alright, I guess I might as well use one of my unities. Two metagels. I guess one per person. I like okay. I like the fact that they are actually referring to uh, to past technology. Like, remember the old days when we didn't need thermal clips? All right, let's take a a breather. Front of the 
Uh, oh, which side is the front? <laughs> There. Um. Enjoy the ride. Damn it. Stand still. Okay. Nope, that didn't work. Nice. Ah. They would attack. You know, if they were more organized, they would be more effective. This is true. Oh, god damn it! I attempted to just take cover. Who's down? The next wave looks like a big one. You just had to give them tactical advice. <laughs> now they'll be too much to deal with inside. Yeah, keep dreaming to Sony. Going down. All right, got some ammo at least. Enemy biotics on the field. Ah, damn it. Nope, it's. Climb over there, we go. That is a very convenient lightning capacitor. Ah, let's get out of here. Yeah, I don't think that, um, there are, f there are fewer people on the inside of the ship. Told you. <laughs> Hold your positions even if you die horribly. back here. Oh. Imagine that. He had allies. Yes, this uh, very specific corner did not save the person who was hiding in it, so let us all take cover in it. <laughs> This has mostly been kind of a linear run, which is fine. Uh, I, f I, I feel like a lot of this uh, DLC has been high spectacle. But I suppose at the very, it, it's always nice for uh, for DLC to at least look exciting. Oh. Does this game have blood effects? You know, I remember back in the day, um, playing, uh, playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare, 
Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare now, I guess. Uh, is the proper uh, name for it. Oh, hello. Because don't want to confuse it with the secondary Modern Warfare. But I was I remember playing that back in the day. And I hadn't really considered it a bloody game. Um, but you get to that one level, that one final level that happens after the end credits. And when you're finally, when you're shooting guys and the walls are white, then it becomes clear that there is in fact blood. Because most of the time, the lighting, uh, the way people are positioned, the more open areas... Like, it's easier not to notice. But now when you're in more closed environments, with uh, white walls everywhere... Uh, it became more obvious that there was blood on the walls. The writing was all over the walls, so to speak. Getting you out of here. No. Yeah, he doesn't really seem like he had a good time. Farron. What the hell is the broker trying to do to you? The equipment is sensitive to tampering. This chair plugs into the broker's info network. You have to shut off the power. Pull me out now, and my brain cooks. Do you know where we can cut the power? It won't be easy. You'll have to go to central operations. What's the point of this cage? I don't... It's a neural grounding rod. The medical equipment is to make sure he doesn't... Ooh. So... They're not really... Torturing him to get information. They're punishing him. Where did the broker get the mercs? Raised his own private force. They're completely loyal. <laughs> Shepard, we really don't have the time. Okay. Tell us where to go. Central Operations is down the hall. You know the Shadow Broker's waiting for you, right? I'm counting on it. We'll be back for you, Farron. I'll try not to go anywhere. I want all teams to help those seas. Ah, still maintaining a sense of humor. Paint the marks. Even in near death. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, hello. Ah. Ah, nope. Ah. Okay, maybe I should take cover now that I'm near death. Take that! Repeated punches to the face. How did I know his weakness? Ah, hello. Haha. <laughs> Truly the the hardest attack to avoid is the one you could just slightly back away from. Although I did, that's like the uh, leads to a question. Do these enemies do they know how to cook their flash grenades? Usually they don't. Are you the Shadow Broker? Whatever you are? You're for the drill. Yes. Even for you, Commander. I don't back down. Not reckless. Just determined. Ask your Asari Spectre about that. Monsieur was expendable. All her death cost me was time. Expendable like Farron? Dr. Dasoni, 
Your interference caused all this. Oh, also note that he's not even using like a modulator to speak like that. Like you would have assumed that was just a modulator. Nope, that's just his vo his voice. Your allies are monsters. Someone was bound to come after you for working with the collectors. It was a mutually beneficial partnership. Your arrival is convenient. The collector's offer still stands. It'll be pretty hard to run a base this size with no crew. They're replaceable. Your arrival is barely an interruption. Okay, no so job. if he expects... My operations are too crucial to be compromised by a traitor. You're quite confident for someone with nowhere left to hide. You travel with fascinating companions, Doctor. I'm obliged like if he to still expects... To Sony. That gray box she's hiding is priceless. You're not putting a hand on anyone. It's pointless to oh. challenge me. Oh, I sir. like the fact that he actually I referred to Kasumi. While you fumble in the dark. Is that right? By the way, the fact that uh, he uh, said that he still expects to sell Shepard to the Collectors means that this alien is going to be killed. Which probably means you killed the original Shadow Broker 60 years ago, then took over. I'm guessing you were taken from your world by a trophy hunter who wanted a slave. Or a pet. How am I doing? Oh, um, I guess uh, the Shadow Broker is basically uh, a kingpin for uh, in this case. He's more, yeah, he's more or less just the kingpin of this universe. All right, let's get rid of his shield. Now I can swap to armor piercing. And let's toss on, nope, let's toss on this flamethrower. Ah, he has shielded himself somehow. The shield's kinetically sensitive. Energy and projectiles are bouncing off. Then we do this the hard way. Then we do this by punching. Um, alright, let's switch to that so we can move faster. Yeah. It's too bad this game is kind of missing out on a um, an actual melee system. You know, I don't really know if... Uh, I forget if Mass Effect um, Andromeda had a proper melee system. Alright, let us... Nope. You can't get me that easily. This should slow them down. All right. Yeah, let's run across the other side. I'm sure everything will be okay. Will I have to knock him down again? Probably, okay. If you can get him to bring up that shield again, I've got an idea. I'm aware of this video game. Like, you don't need to tell me how to use, uh, 
Although I, I that's the that's the thing with uh, games these this big, it's like like even at this point in the game, like there are still situations. Where um, your tactics are going to be more um, situation. So it's like, uh, so we, that's the thing with like big games like this, is there's still occasionally that sequence where. Uh, Where the game still feels like we need to remind you what the gameplay functions are. Okay, do you know what you're doing? I presume you know what you're doing. And now that he has disintegrated, how do you expect to pick his pockets? Because that was necessary. Um, we still have to shut something down in order to save Farron. Ah, Kasumi, thank you for joining us. And you're not dead. Good job for not dying. Ah, uh, yep, and this is Liara taking over the network. And really, that's kind of like what she's been building towards in an attempt to destroy the Shadow Broker. She more or less became that informational uh, network on her way up there. But then, it's not exactly like her previous career. This is the Shadow Broker. The situation is under control. We experienced a power fluctuation while upgrading hardware. Disrupted communications momentarily. However, we are now back online. Resume standard procedures. I want a status report on all operations within the next solar day. Shadow Broker, out. And then they're like, you know, the Shadow Broker never says Shadow Broker out. You... how? Well, everyone who's ever seen him in person is dead, so... You're the new Shadow Broker. Is taking over as the Shadow Broker really a good idea? It was either that or lose everything. His contacts, his trading sources, those will really help us. With the Shadow Broker's information network, I can... I can give you... I can... I'll... check the power systems. And then Kasumi realizes she needs to... step away. Yep. <laughs> um... It's over. It's finally... for two years. It's all right. Ah, this romance is too heavy. It's causing all this lag. I don't... We're different people. You have your mission, and... Okay. 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 But... We should focus. Let's see what our options are. No safeguards. You never know where tomorrow will bring. It's like he never anticipated anyone but himself being here. And it's all ours. Mm, I'm pretty sure she's not going to come with me. 
kind of information are we talking about? I'm not sure. I'll need to go through his files. Come back later and I'll try to have something useful for you. All I wanted was to rescue Farron, but is it wrong that part of me wants this? And that's the thing with Liara. She had her own motivation and storyline in Mass Effect 1, and she resolved it completely. Uh, so she wanted to know about the Protheans, and she found out about the Protheans. Like, there's no reason for her to keep digging about the Protheans, knowing that the Reapers are out there. Don't be a stranger this time. Small chance of that. Come back soon. I forget if there are, you can actually come back and get more information later. I'll have to stop by. But in theory, uh, you could take the the networks and channels that uh, the Shadow Broker had built and turn them towards something good. Shepard has defeated the Shadow Broker. Eliminate Cerberus information leaks as Liara Tassoni takes over. The Asari's relationship with Shepard should be watched closely. Why am I seeing those notes? Why am I, as a player, seeing those particular notes? It's it's interesting as a mission summary, but it's still, it's like... Am, are those uh, notes that are made by the elusive man specifically for himself? Are those, like, um, notes that has been shared between... Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow? What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. I forgot about this, uh... Let's see, that's the exit to the Normandy. Yeah, we, so we got dossiers. Efficient, ruthless, obsessed with human dominance. Possible recruitment candidate after Elusive Man's assassination and destruction of Cerberus. Okay. Extra next message. Image results for Shepard Saren Specter. Subscription activated after dark fashions. Vid book purchase. Men are from Omega. Women are from Ilium. Okay, I get the impression that this is a lot of stuff. Probably more than really needs to be covered. From Perfect Man to Lawbringer. Perfect Man says, Hey there. New to all this iPartner stuff. Yes. Well, maybe tell me about yourself. What sort of work do you do? I can't talk about that. Like some kind of secret government spy stuff sounds dangerous. <laughs> yes. Okay, how about a little bit about you? What do you do for fun? Look, I don't really care about getting to know you. Upload your required medical exam results. Sure. You had a mild case of Shintonial Abraxas four years ago? Yes, but the doctors have disconnect. Mmm. Maybe Miranda just does not know how to meet people. Oh, my love is like a red, red rose that is new sprung. Hey, baby, how it was about a pick. Let's get the... Medical looks clean, yes. Pardon me, anything I should... Ooh. Does this imply the idea that Miranda's been... Uh, browsing the interrelate relay chats, getting it on in her spare time? Well, 
Oh, wait, is this, um... Oriana, yeah. This would be her with her, uh, talking to her sister. Professor previously attached to Solarian Special Task Groups. Impressive credentials. Modifications to Junified to reestablish 99.9% .9 death rate among Krogan births. Current work with Shepard. Obvious atonement attempt. Very true. And that's the thing with his character. He spent so much time... Like, he's he went into religion just to atone for his, his actions. Alright, what else have we got? We got advanced training. Oh, okay. Nifty. Redistribute points if I wanted to. I don't care that much. Customize gear. Eh, and then there's Farron there, who now has absolutely nothing to do. What does this console do? This is the video surveillance access point. I've queued up the archive footage you requested on your last visit, Shadow Broker. Remember, you can zoom in for more detailed viewing and can pause any time during playback. Aria Talok, Omega. Uh... Okay. Ah, Emily. Getting it on. Fred Mazai, Citadel. I have no idea who that is. Or at least I don't remember who that is. So let's go to next. Donnell Udina. Ah, that jerk. Hmm. I don't remember who he was. David Anderson, Citadel. I was going to say, I was pretty sure David Anderson wasn't the white guy. Praetor Gavon. Who? Kalisa Bint Sinan. Ah, this jerk. Citadel. Oh, <laughs> oh. Keeper I'm terrible. Citadel. Keeper 20? Matriarch Atheta. Ilium. Matriarch Atheta. Huh. Erdnot Torsk. Tachanka. Who? Omega. Who's that? <laughs> what a jerk. Jacob Taylor. Normandy SR2. Oh. oh. Wait, hold on. They're watching me? Or should I say Jacob? Subject zero. Uh, it's Jack. Ship now defunct. How do they get those camera angles? Check for more videos on your next visit. Hello, Farron. Shepard, glad you stopped by. We don't get many visitors. Take it easy. You've been through a lot. You're probably right. I never did say thanks for the rescue. Liara never gave up on you, Farron. I just helped. I'm you still haven't said Liara thanks for the rescue. I'm waiting. I'll never forget what either of you did. I can log that in the archives for you, sir. I see you met the secretary. Take it easy, Baron. Thanks. All right, I'll... I feel as though a lot of this can just... Wait until later. Like, this is like um, a big old collection of information. Um... Like, oh, but I can upgrade my stuff. Because I've got tons of palladium. Ooh.
and heavy muscle weave. And can I take this with me? Yes, I can. Yeah. The outside looks so calm from in here. Hold on, delivery pickup? Ooh. Nifty. Um, I don't think like 5,000 platinum is gonna make or break the bank. Is this more... A pirate fleet is massing on the fringes of Terminus. Send a tip off to Admiral Hackett about the upcoming invasion. Okay. Oh. Alright. The Serta Foundation can't start tests on promising you on back because of accidentally misfiled paperwork. Use your contacts to help them cut through the red tape. Okay. A corrupt politician is trying to levy heavy taxes on all earth manufactured goods coming into a system in exchange for kickbacks from local businesses ruin the pop politicians reputations with spear campaign okay here's the thing i can see where the, the politician might stand for themselves on the idea that like everybody wants to boost the local economy but in an era of globalization and i suppose in this manner interstellarization you have to realize you are not the only people in this universe. Eclipse Mercenaries secret set up a red sand production. Tip off planet authorities about the facility in exchange for half the crits seized during the raid. Can do. Anything else might be interesting of note? Not really. Let us talk to Liara. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. At least I get to share it with you. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. Alright, I guess we can you know, deal with that for now. Relatively speaking. If you're in over your head, we could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. Very much so. Have you found anything useful yet? Although I suppose that's Shepherd where interior decorating comes years. along. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. Hmm. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning in the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or and they did, and we'll find out about that in Mass Effect 3. How'd you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-space flight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yog. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. He gonna be okay? 
I don't know. He wants to also, do either of you have a bedroom? Maybe it takes his mind off it. Are you two together? So, you and Farron are just friends. I believe you made it clear that I was, as you humans say, taken. You know, I didn't come down here just to talk about data. Look, about the kiss. We just finished the fight. I miss you. But it's been two years. No, no, no. I don't want to put pressure on you. I've got fond memories of the last time you put pressure on me. <laughs> so do I. Why don't you come to the Normandy for drinks? I'd like that. Let's go now. Good. Why wait? Get your things and come on up. Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. Just put on your casual jumpsuit. It'll be completely different from your regular jumpsuit. Or space clothes. You enjoy the tour? There's a very thin line between yes. Mass it's Effect space ship. formal and wear and uh, he did ask if you and leather fetishes, I would imagine. Vid called Vanya. Of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwaz. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but... I recovered your tags. Literal digging or figurative digging? Because it could have been either. I thought I'd never see these again. You can't get back everything you lose, but sometimes you get lucky. Yeah, that was the plan. How are you actually doing, Shepard? Also, they seem to have forgotten the glasses of wine that were just poured in the other room. I'm hopeful. I'm okay. Really. It's been rough, but we'll get it done. You've certainly made a good start, even if those idiots on the council won't admit it. There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon, if not for you. I saved some of them. Not enough. And the Collectors will keep hitting colonies until I stop them. Ah, uh, their conversation. So too serious. And here I thought it'd be difficult. You'll get the job done. You always do. Also, sit I down, relax. What comes next. So tell me what you want. If this all ends tomorrow, what happens to us? Death, most likely. I don't know. Marriage, old age, and a lot of little blue children. You just say these things. <laughs> You were dead. I got better. This time, but you're going to leave again. When your team is ready, you'll leap through the Omega-4 relay. Just because it's a suicide mission, and just because I already died, Doesn't mean I'm risking absolute death again. You. So if we're going to try this, I need to know you're always coming back. I don't know. That's a pretty big promise to make. Oh, is it? I'd have to have something special to come back to. I'm open to suggestions.
Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.